we're here today to witness the marriage of Tony and Justin. I know that everybody here today has a special place <laughs> in the lives and the hearts of this couple. <laughs> My daughter, the bride, asked me to say a few words about marriage. I don't have any words of wisdom to offer. I don't think there's any uh, magic secret that I can give you. Um, but when my wife and I were first newlyweds, one day we were walking along and just walking along past a random stranger. and. Uh, I said, how you doing? He said, not as good as you. <laughs> and every day, for the last 41 years, I wake up and I realize, yeah, I am a lucky man. I believe Justin and Tony are equally lucky to have each other. Justin, I feel so fortunate that I am the one you have chosen. I have truly never met another human as kind and positive and loving as you are. Tawny, it's said that people don't remember what you say. They remember how you make them feel. You've said many things since that day when we met in front of Rosie's, but without fail, you've never made me feel anything less than intensely valued, admired, supported, respected, and loved. You've shown me what it feels like to be loved with abandon. Because of these things and so many others, I vow that I will love you with all that I have in me. And through the rest of our years, I'll never stop learning how to be the best at doing that. Thank you for showing me love like I've never known. another person who has more compassion and empathy and who truly roots for every single person they come across. You make such a positive impact with your kindness and your warmth. As they say, nobody's perfect but they are perfect for each other. And this wedding is about more than just uh, bringing together this happy couple it also represents the joining of two families which includes uh, several children both from the Fonts and Hernandez families
And uh, to celebrate that joining of the families, we would like to um, have those children come up and uh, do a symbolic sand ceremony representing the blending of the two families. Tawny, loving you will be my profession. I vow to always truly see you and love what I see because I always have and always will. I vow to always be your hype man. I vow to always be listening so I may hear you when others don't. I vow to keep working hard for us because just the idea of a we with you is worth it. I vow to be true and earn your trust daily for the rest of our lives. I vow to be your teammate and fight your battles, not for you, but with you. And I vow to keep no scores, except the years of love that we leave behind us. Justin, I am so grateful for the patience and love that you have shown Brady and Keith and me. You have shown me the very definition of unconditional love. I have never felt so accepted and embraced, and I am a better version of myself because I have you cheering me on. So here are my vows to you. I vow to always tell you how special you are and what a gift you are to every person who meets you. I vow to always make your happiness and fulfillment my happiness and fulfillment. I vow to always tell the truth and to always prioritize us. I vow to never give you any reason to question my love and commitment. I vow to stand by you through the good times and the tough ones, the mountaintops and the valleys, and I vow to partner with you in this incredibly difficult journey they call parenting. <laughs> I promise to never forget how very fortunate we are to have found one another. Thank you for the joy, peace, patience, encouragement, laughter, adventure, and love that you have brought into my life. I love you, and I promise my love will only continue to grow from here. I, Justin, take you, Tawny, to be my wife. I, Tawny, take you, Justin, to be my husband. And these things I promise you. I will be faithful and honest with you. I will respect, trust, and love you. I will share my life with you. I will forgive you as we have been forgiven. And I will try with you to better understand ourselves, the world, and God. Through the best and the worst of what is to come. As long as we live. As long as we live. By the authority invested in me by the state of Nevada, I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Spons. <laughs> Tony, Justin deserves you. He's a great man, friend, and a father. And I just know he's going to be a wonderful and loving husband to you. I've known Justin for a while now, and he's helped me through a lot of crap along the way. I might, he might not know this, but I've looked up to him from the day I've met him. Probably for the encouragement and guidance he's given me on a daily it seemed like every time I would confide in him, it was like a light would turn on and he'd help me push through it. Justin, 
You saved my life and I'm forever grateful. Tawny's been such a rock to me and I have watched her grow into such a confident, wonderful, beautiful, loving mother and today a wife. And I am so glad that she has found you and your family and that her boys have found you and your family. You are such an amazing man and I know how happy you made Tawny. You guys are just, you're both lovely. May you be together as long as you want. May you always want to be together. May you never want for anything as long as you're together. Cheers.